welcome back to the Temple of Elemental Evil. We have just Migo. finished up the bandits in the moat house and now are setting up to explore uh, the underside, or I don't know what to say, the dungeon part. I do my best. Um, yeah, it's not quite as easy as it looks, um, mainly due to this room right here sucking ass. Uh, what we're going to start off doing is summon our thief up into this room, and there's a treasure chest. We will search it. Okay. It's not trapped. Yes, so we'll sir. Go ahead and take it. And it's got these Eye of Flame cloaks. Um, you need to take one for everybody. And I'll go ahead and pass them out real quick. Um, these are what are going to protect us from some certain nasty situations here in the future. Um, in addition to giving us cloaks that look good. So, whatever. Alright, now we've got uh, everyone decked out. We can go ahead and get ready for our next fight. Um, it is right down this corridor here. I need to get the spacing down right so that my mages don't get uh, don't get cut off in, in a bad spot. You can see there's a zombie here. Uh, the easiest way to trigger a battle is to go ahead and go on to offense. Oh. And it will go ahead and uh, trigger the event. And you can see there's a whole bunch of zombies here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight zombies. Um, it's best to let them come to us uh, for a couple reasons. One, there's more than eight zombies. Um, we'll do. And two, there are these glob thingies, the green slimes, which will also attack us. Okay. See, there's two of those. So, we got uh, quite a few enemies here. This is the biggest fight so far. Um, it can be dangerous. We go that. Depending on how often we actually hit. Will do. Um, being low level, By we the can miss will. quite often. But, uh, hopefully, it shouldn't be too bad. I'm going to go ahead and sum this up. Hey, another dog. I'm off. Did a lot of good for us last time, so uh, we will. Uh, I do that. Keep using that. Me go that. And we're just gonna keep on right away. Attacking. Thankfully, the slimes are hurt by arrows. Okay. Um, the undead really aren't. So after the slimes are dead, uh, we're gonna switch. We'll do. Thief over to dual wielding weapons, uh, short sword and dagger. I do that. Alright, well, both slimes are down. Okay. And a bunch of the zombies are down. He's taking a bit of damage. Bill's got two hit points, and his buddy Ted has six. Um, let's go ahead and go into our inventory. Yes, sir! We will swap out the bow for the long sword, and stick the dagger in the offhand, and alright. She's ready to go. Will do. And we just need to get us the rest of these zombies down. As you wish. Right, there they are. Didn't really see them before. They will come up and uh, from wherever they were and attack us. There they are. Right away. But yeah, you can see there's uh Still got six more zombies running around. I do my best. Once we get a good number of them over here, um, we got three so far. Okay. Uh, we'll right away. And still zero. Let's go ahead and try and rebuke undead. Okay. And it totally failed. Right away. Um, 
that would get those zombies onto our team if it worked. Um, unfortunately, I missed on all three of them, which does happen. Yes, sir. Not a huge deal. Okay. Right, we'll just keep wearing them down. Come on, guys. There you are. I see you running up. Okay. Okay. Zero damage. That, uh, that is an optimal. Okay. Alright, down to four more. Okay. So, yeah, we're not yes, doing too bad. Yes, sir. Uh, we'll keep At your out. service. That does happen. Keep doing zero. You got good strength. Don't know why you're doing zero. Okay. And Clarice is now disabled. That's generally why I don't want her fighting up front. <coughs> Oof. Looks like uh, Ted took offense to that. Alright, let's. Uh, what can we do? Right away. Let's go ahead and use a potion. And we're back up to two. At your service. There you go. Finally got him that time, huh? And spike chain guy. I do that. He's doing a little bit of damage, not much. Oh. A barbarian is certainly kicking ass. Okay. As you wish. Well, I almost got him knocked out. I do my best. Boom. There he goes. One more zombie. There we go. We can finally end this. Pass. There we go. Yes. Right away. Smack down. Okay. Tired of being fighting zombies. All right. There we go. All the zombies are dead, and we have gained a level. Uh, up to level two. We're gonna run back up a little bit, and then I'll show you the level up screen. Um, you can choose which class to go through. Uh, there are some that are grayed out due to the fact that you got uh, conflicts between alignments and that kind of stuff. Uh, we're just going to be leveling up the skills we've already leveled up. Um, you can see the gold ones go up by a half and the white ones go up by one for every point we spend. And move through here. We're going to choose cleave as our class feat. Uh, whenever we kill somebody, uh, we get to do an extra attack on anybody else who's close enough, uh, which is really nice. Uh, survival, tumble, spot, pissing, and embrace. And there's, uh, our health is also going up in the level, which is a good thing because we really needed it. Classing with her. Uh, tumble, spot, search, block, diplomacy, disable device, block. And one more. This is my work. And lastly, our sorcerer. Spellcraft, tumble, use magic device, listen, and concentration. We do get to pick another spell. Um, she's going to pick days. And we are done. Uh, coming up close to 10 minutes now, so I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Um, this game takes a while when you stop every 10 minutes. Uh, but we will continue on into the zombie lair and fight a very different kind of enemy. Uh, I'll see you guys then.